So next part is I'll share a little bit about the mentoring program. Uh, so let me just bring up my slides and so you can share a little bit about that quickly. So the mentoring program is uh, something that we just, we, this is our, going to be our second batch. So uh, give me a history, we've had our first batch uh, as a pilot program uh, sometime in April. Was it April? It was late last year, right? Uh, no. Early, no, Early April. Year, yeah. April. Yeah. No, so and then April. April, May, and that was our first our first pilot batch to kind of figure out what what how uh, how to go about doing this, and then we still we started our our first batch uh, around the second half of last year, uh, around all, all the way to around Christmas. So right now we're going into our second batch. So we have learned a lot of lessons from our pilot batch as well as our first batch. So right now, uh, well, we'll be sharing a little bit, a bit more about our mentoring program, right? So maybe I just adjust the camera a bit so I can focus on my. Yeah, there you go. Blah, blah. Okay. Uh, uh, where am I? What do I do? Uh, okay. Ah, okay. Now it's a bit more. Okay. Cool. So for the mentoring program, um, you can. Have a look at the slides that we this is the slides a link to the slides so you can go just download that later and you can find out more about the uh, pro program here so about the mentoring program so we did a so sometime last year we did a survey of the junior deaf group and we identified three areas that uh, our members in our group kind of need guidance on number one is uh, on career coaching and guidance and, and they also want to look for professional growth and uh, getting becoming better at what they do and there's also some work and technical skills related stuff so uh, so to help them uh, deepen their technical knowledge of things so for the technical knowledge we have this program which is the developers gym where we do coding workshops and some some specific skills training and coding coding sessions that kind of caters for the technical things uh, that you want to learn and, and how you level up as a developer but I think for the career guidance and professional growth this is where I think our junior developers mentoring program can really help you in Right, so this is we feel is the best to address uh, uh, with regular mentoring pro, uh, sessions, <clears throat> and we decided to go with group mentoring because we feel that it's kind of the best way to have a consistent. Uh, uh, so, so having being able to go into a group mentoring session with a consistent group, uh, kind of provides a certain cadence, regular cadence where you can get into a safe zone and you can really build meaningful and deep uh, relationships with the people in the group, lah. Right, and then the hopefully you, you you help each other and be sustainable in your personal uh, walk in in this particular uh, career. So I hope is that you 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 in through coming for joining our mentoring is a uh, uh, mentoring program, and you can you be basically be, be able to find people which you can kind of form a sort of accountability circle where you can basically help each other and be accountable for each other and help uh, become better at what we do here. <clears throat> so before the session, uh, if you're joining us the program, uh, once again, as I said, we are our focus is really on uh, career coaching, uh, career guidance, and professional growth. Not so much the technical things. So if you want technical things, you can recommend topics for us, and we can definitely run uh, uh, developer gyms that are more specific to technical skills that you want to learn, right? But what we hope to do is, is through this program, we, we want to build you up in, in your, your soft skills and your ability to uh, learn and, and be good at this. So uh, so before the, the sessions, we will actually have a, uh, we will plan to do a, a mentors orientation where we prepare the mentors for the mentoring session. In our first batch, we actually had one, just one session where the mentors uh, kind of like had a crash course and met each other and started, started doing the mentoring. So we go. We we plan to do a bit more. Give them a bit more time, so they can like uh, get to know each other better as before they get started into the mentoring program. So because this mentoring program, we also uh, kind of like we pivots a lot on the success of it. Pivots a lot on the the quality and the people that we get as mentors, right? So I think we want to make sure they're comfortable and, we, and they're empowered to do what they do. So that's what we want to do. Uh, then we also have a kickoff session after that on the 7th of April where all the shortlisted mentees who have signed up for the program will be introduced to the mentors and they will do some expectation setting and and stuff like that so they can help each, help uh, you help everyone get aligned in terms of the goals and what we want to do uh, then of course after that we will start the mentoring program uh, the mentoring sessions are planned are scheduled to start on the 21st of April and, and will go all the way to the 4th of August so the sessions will be every three weeks so basically and we'll try to form the mentoring groups as uh, around the second or third uh, session. Uh, the mentoring groups uh, should, should form <coughs> will be usually about two or three, two mentors to about three mentees. 
uh, and then want to also try our best to get a one-to-one -one parity in terms of male and female mentors. Uh. Uh, um, um, hopefully we get more women mentors this time, so that which will be really helpful. We believe that a healthy and balanced mentor uh, to mentee ratio is kind of crucial because I think we want to be able to, uh, in a way, I want two mentors in a group because I want them to be kind of low balance and not one person take on everything. Uh, but we also want to make sure that the mentees can also have more than one person they can talk to for diverse opinions, right? So uh, or rather not be too skewed towards one person's perspective on things and then let the mentors, uh, so one of the mentors be able to work with each other and give them different perspectives about uh, stuff. So yeah, so we, we also, so because of this, of this, we need to maintain a healthy balance and ratio. So we do need to be a bit more careful uh, or rather we need to be, uh, we need to limit the intake, right? We can't be like, that everyone come in. But we want to make sure that we have good balance. Uh, and for certain mentees uh, who prefer a gender preference, we also have uh, put, we also can put together all women's, all, all men's group. Uh. So that's depending on uh, the preference of the, so there's a sign up form and the sign up form you can put, you can indicate your, your, your preference. <coughs> so mentoring group sessions will usually will probably start with about six sessions. So every three weeks we'll, uh, we'll meet. Uh, we'll probably be on Tuesdays because we like Tuesdays because Tuesdays is not Monday. So <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully fine. no Monday blues. Yeah. Uh, yes. Right. And then we'll probably uh, we'll provide we'll provide dinner because we, we, we believe that you should have a good dinner. Uh, and of course, we're not, we're not going to do, do we're not going to do pizza. Not so much. <laughs> so yeah. Uh, right, so the sessions will usually start with the dinner where the, where the mentors and mentees can get to network and talk to each other and get to find out more about each other. Uh, then there will be some talks uh, that where the mentors can, can talk about a certain specific uh, team. Uh, we'll, so we have uh, this, and then the, mentors, the mentoring group can break up and, and discuss more about the team before they do a bit of share back. Uh, and of course, after that, you go for supper, right? Uh, I think we've been doing this for like two, set, two, two batches and this kind of seems to work, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay, cool. Uh, yeah, so and of course groups may also arrange social gatherings in between, uh, like we did like a Christmas thing uh, last December, which is kind of nice. I think we'll do a bit more of those uh, social gatherings in between. Uh. Uh, so enrollment fee, there's a small enrollment fee for all the mentees, uh, basically the $40 per mentee, uh, only when you're, when you're shortlisted. So when you're shortlisted, you will ask you uh, to, to pay this. This is pretty much uh, to help us co uh, cover the cost of catering. Uh, and also some lo some logistics la. like the food we need to cater and buy food be, uh, be, uh, beforehand and stuff so this is kind of payable after you've been accepted into the program so don't worry you can fill up the form without uh, without fear of having to pay for stuff <laughs> right and of course it's free for mentors because I think we want to value and we want, we want to we value the mentors time and we want to make sure that uh, they, they will enjoy doing this as well <coughs> so the um, important dates. So our men the so the mentoring session will be uh, starting on April. But I think we will have a mentoring mentors orientation in March, and then kickoff session is will be in April first. I think first Tuesday of April. I think, and then after that it will be the sessions where there are six sessions, and there will be a retro uh, towards the end of the sessions. Right. So yeah. Um, so uh, here's some photos of our mentoring program, the, uh, at least the pilot run. So this is between April, 11 April to 21st of May. Uh, so this is the group that was there. You can see Rachel wait, right there, over there, that little cute little face over there. <laughs> and then, uh, and where's, where's Max? Max is, oh, not here. Oh yeah, here's Max. Max yeah, is over here. Okay, uh, cool. And Mike is there as well. I am, of course, oh, I'm oh. here, I'm here. And uh, yeah. Issue is not here, man. Oh, she, you were not there on the last session for the yeah. Okay, anyway, um, mm, okay, <coughs> yeah. So some more photos of the of the people who were involved. Uh, these are mentors and mentees. Um, yeah, sometimes we do go for drinks and uh, uh, yeah. That we do have all women's groups as well. So these are some of the all women's groups that are involved in this. Yeah, Kizzy Huiching over there, and uh, yeah. Um, right, so uh, if you're really interested in this and you find that this is something you might, uh, might want to uh, join, uh, you can scan this QR code. So there's a, on the left, we have the mentees sign up form. So you can just join, uh, scan this and join us as a mentee. And you can sign up as a mentor. You can just scan the QR code on the right and that should get you the, to the form. Um, yeah, uh, so that's, uh, uh, so the closing date uh, we'll share a little bit more about the closing date later. I think the closing, I remember the closing date is actually in the form. 
if I'm not wrong. Uh, so you can find the date there and, and let us know. Um, yeah, so um, with that, uh, that's it. Uh, right. That's all for the mentoring program.